Hello Internet and YouTube, 8-Bit Rabbit Tech is back and today we're doing some autopsy on a HP Thin Client 5135. As you see, it's a small compact computer workstation. Um, so no really standalone computer just for a remote connection to a server running um, environment on the server and just yeah typical workstation just attached monitor keyboard mouse and all the system functions mainly the processing done on the server so these machines don't have much power the hardware specs are very low this machine has 400 megahertz, uh, 64 megabyte flash RAM. Uh, comes with a Linux distribution and via chipset. Uh, has x86 compatibility, so is able to run normal computer applications but all in all it's very limited in its functions because of the low processor speed and the lack of real internal storage as you can see on the back here we have four USB ports Ethernet port PS2 mouse port, PS2 keyboard port, VGA connector, serial connector, pedal connector. On the front we have power button, mic in, headphone out and two additional USB ports on the front. So, yeah, let's crack the sucker open. Starting with the screw. Now we can take the front plate off. And let's see what we got here. Two additional USB ports hidden inside the machine. Very nice. So let's get a bit deeper in the machine. Mostly these two. Screws that hold the back plate. And it's gone. Open it up. It's shielded by a very solid metal case. We remove the screws. So let's see what's inside. Two more screws over here. Let's open it up. So, uh, as you can see, first thing you notice are the huge passive coolers covered by a 
heat transferring material it's transferring the heat to the or spreading the heat over the entire body of the frame get rid of all the heat because everything's passive cooled uh, what we have here is a combination of the processor graphic processing unit and controller chip. You also have some port controller here, some DC converter here for the power rail, and these are just some condensators, some noise filtering. Backup battery over here. This is the internal flash RAM, 64 megabyte. Uh, you can remove the flash, and underneath you find a 44 pin IDE connector, and with some modifications, you can install the hard drive 2.5. Laptop one with an IDE cable, 44 pin. We have an internal speaker for playing music and stuff. Normally, it comes with a low, yeah, version of Linux. Not very usable. No, no multimedia functions or something. Just pure server connection, VNC connection stuff to connect to the server. As I said before, these machines are mostly clients using the server functions over remote program, remote connections. But with some bit of modification you can turn it into a standalone computer or maybe create a small home server for chat applications or maybe with some attached USB storage NAS file system or something yeah thanks for watching 8 bit rip take out